I'm JB Baker, the VP of Marketing and Product Management here at ScaleFlux. Uh, ScaleFlux, we're a fabulous semiconductor company building uh, innovative NVMe SSD and memory controllers for enterprise environments. So like here, here you see the, the chip designed right onto the, the U.2 form factor, which goes into this um, for servers and data centers. So at ScaleFlux, what we've done is design a chip for the SSD, uh, the, the single chip controller that gets you more out of your SSD, which then helps you get more out of your system and more out of the power budget you have for your data center. Uh, the innovative aspect of the SSD controller is putting in a hardware compression engine directly into the controller. So it doesn't add any silicon space, any separate chip, no software, uh, nothing for you to integrate into your system. We put that hardware compression in there, and by doing it in a hardware compression engine, it is lightning fast and gives you a ton of benefits on the SSD in terms of endurance, performance, latency, and overall system cost. So the first thing is sustained performance. Typically with an SSD, with every SSD out there, as it fills up, it's suddenly gonna hit this right cliff, as you see in the red line there, where the performance just drops off after a couple hours as the SSD fills up. By doing the data compression, we keep more space free in the NAND, and that allows us to sustain the extremely high performance over time. Uh, the next thing is tying into system level performance and uh, power efficiency. So in, in this example, what we did was we ran a 20 gigabyte write in RocksDB to our drive and to a different set of drives using post compression LZ4. And what you can see here is that our drive finishes much faster and then, uh, so we save all of that power over the extra time. So 1.7 times the power and the time to complete the same job with a different solution. Now, it's great to get more performance. Uh, and as you see here, as we tried to crank up the, the amount of workload that we pushed to the drive, the ScaleFlex drive was able to achieve a much higher level of total sustained performance. But it, latency is super critical too. So now as we go forward, uh, and now apply latency at the same level of work, what you see is at the lower workloads, so maybe you're not pushing your drive to the maximum performance, um, you're only driving a couple hundred thousand IOs to it, we're still significantly lower latency, so your application is responding faster than it would with another drive. And then before we hit the level of latency of the other drives, we're achieving twice the performance. On the back end, by compressing the data on we write less to the NAND originally, and then we avoid garbage collection, write amplification on the back. So as the data goes from uh, minimally compressible to two to one to three to one compressible, what you see is the endurance of the drive gets multiplied. So at two X, uh, two to one compression, we get five times the endurance of another 3.84 or 7.68 class drive. For a customer, what does this mean? Well, we have a customer that does a hybrid transactional analytical process in the cloud uh, database, a mouthful there. They have a 60 tera or a 30 petabyte deployment. That 30 petabytes took uh, 65 racks and uh, 650 servers, 7, 000, over 7,000 drives to deliver that level of, uh, of storage to their customers. Plugging in the ScaleFlux drives instead of ordinary drives they got rid of 60% of those servers, 60% of the drive, 60% of the racks. So now we're, we're achieving the same service with far less uh, floor space, as well as saving tremendous amount of power for your sustainability and green initiatives. Some examples of feedback we get from customers where they just plug the drive in and they see the benefits instantly because there's no new software to install. There's no driver. We're just using the standard inbox NVMe drivers uh, and everything is managed through NVMe commands. For the people that are working with the drives, what does that do? Well, it helps them achieve, helps that infrastructure and operations team achieve the SLAs that their customers need. It helps them uh, hit their efficiency metrics and it helps them sleep at night because they got fewer components out there, which then boosts their overall infrastructure reliability. Fewer components to fail means fewer things failing over time. It's been great having TSMC as a technology partner we're now in our third generation of working with TSMC on, on our chips. We got two out and, and multiple more in flight right now. Uh, the, the maturity of the tool chain and the support that we get from TSMC uh, just has made it a lot better to uh, achieve 
first pass quality and uh, assure that we're going to get high performance and excellence uh, reliability out of the chips.